I'm curious to know a, a little bit more about um, the, the, the wartime from you know what was going on in sort of King Standing. I mean, were you, were you drafted or did you volunteer? No, or? I volunteered in right, uh, yeah. Christmas 1939. Right. And when I um, when I went up, I had to go to um, Albert Hall. It's on six. Was on six rise. I'm still there now. Mm -hmm. Six rise left. And that was the recruiting place. And um, oh, they didn't do it at the uh, the drill hall in King Standing. Yet to no, to no, I didn't go. I didn't do that actually because uh, mm -hmm. I don't know why. There was about four of us, so we all used to go dancing together. And they all decided when war was declared in September, mm -hmm. we just hung around because there was nothing doing there. Mm -hmm. And then also one or two things started, so we, we had a little chat for us, and we all went up together. Mm -hmm. didn't all go together, out together, mm -hmm. as well. and that's and um, and when he, I, I did my exam, and that's and he, he gave me, he, he gave gave me some coppers when I looked. There was I think two and a half pence at what we called top of eight me. Right. You know. I said, what's this for? It's when you go out of there and you catch a bus and it's over the road and it takes you all the way down to um, Holly Lane, Erdington, which is at the Dunlop, by the Dunlop. Yeah, yeah. It says there's, a, there's a, um, a barracks there by the side of the canal. That's where you report there. Right, right. And I went there and that. Uh, and <laughs> I was. I just don't know where I lived. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. anyhow, um, had a bit of training, and of course, then I started being worried about anti aircraft planes coming over. Right, right. But the only trouble was, really, is they had, they had no answer. This country had no answer to right, what Germany right, right. had got. And, that, and um, they'd got. A certain amount of what they call Lewis guns. You ever seen a Lewis gun? It's a machine gun. Yeah. With a round tube. And that it's air cooled, you see, the air comes in, cools the, the barrel. And they, they're all 1914. I'm picturing something, but I don't know whether I'm picturing a Bren gun or a Lewis gun. <laughs> Bren guns had only started coming out just right, before right, the war. Right, right. And there were very few and far between. But Lewis guns were all all, all 1914, 18 guns. Right. But they, that's all they got. But anyhow, what we used to do, we used to go out in the first thing in the morning, just each, each little group of three men. And of course, I'm round then, I'm round all round where the Dunlop is, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got Fish and Ludlow's, Dunlop, Bala, aeroplane factory there. Yeah. All in the little area, you think. Right, right. We used to go up there and they... The Castle Bay Hall. Yeah. Actually, that is. Yeah. yeah. And uh, take a twin loose gun and stem. And we used to, used to go into various areas and uh, and we'd be on that Lewis gun all day long. But, I mean, it was used to think mm. that there was anything they could do about it because they'd only fight us to certain nights anyway. You don't get planes come down. The, 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 you, you're then given those for anti-aircraft duty. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that like an inter infantry gun, anti-infantry? Yeah, yeah. And that's <laughs> what, and that, that's what they, all they got. Right, right. And that, I mean, I mean people now they, they've read about it, been, but they were completely unaware of what, of what was really happening, you know. And how soon did you get stationed in AA placements? Uh, we went all the way through the Blitz. Right. The Birmingham. Because you, you get stationed pretty soon after, you know, like late 39. Oh, but we very eventually got th a, an anti aircraft gun a little later on, but mm. I would say well into the end of the Blitz of the Birmingham, of Birmingham Blitz, really. Right, right. And, right, that, God. and that's, but we were trying on the gun, and that. Were you this side of the city, or? No, we, we actually, we. Um, we were in this barracks on, on the Holly Lane, and that's where we used to go back every night to sleep. Right. And then out again the next morning, all around on these sides, up the canal there. Oh, they'd send you to different places, yeah. different uh, yeah, gun yeah. placements. Yeah, where the, uh, the Fish and Ludlow's works are, it's all completely changed now.
Mm -hmm. When I was building the works, which act like to produce Spitfires, mm -hmm. there was a big area of green grass, and they got four holes in the floor, in the ground, with twin Lewis guns in each hole, and that's where we used to sit all day long, from morning to night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take sandwiches with us. Yeah. And they wouldn't, they couldn't pick it, they hadn't even got transport to pick you up. You used to carry these guns, one carried the gun each, then you'd they'd carry uh, ammunition and a toolbox. And we'd, we'd just walk until we got there every day, settle down in the hole, and that's it. And then we'd have a change round, one week, one week or a fortnight, we'd go into um, Dunlops, and we'd be on the, what they call the a big tower at Dunlops with the guns there. The end of the time we'd be in uh, Fitzgerald was a factory there. I was on there one night, it was on top of a water tower, sandbag round, mm -hmm. and um, with a twin mirror's gun. And that was the first time they dropped a bomb round that, and the bomb hit, hit the canteen, almost where we were. And I, I used to say, I, we could see the people running for the shelters. And that was, I think, the first and only bomb they dropped on that place. It didn't do any real damage to the place itself. It's been friendly for you. But I mean, <laughs> and we were dropping air trying to, who could, it's hopeless, and that was at night. Mm -hmm. It's really stupid, but that's what they did. And that, but, um, we went there and of course the trouble was it was just absolutely terrible because we were getting no sleep. Mm. And that's the event I moved us out and we went down to, to Beaudley. You know Beaudley? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we had uh, on the side of the river at Beaudley down, now where the, the metal bridges, you go down the iron staircase, down to the And uh, they had a couple of belt, we had a couple of belt tents down there and the twin lives gone down there. We stayed there for. All oh, right, this is still with the Lewis guns, and that was great because you yeah, doing yeah. The weather was beautiful, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Lovely. And lovely places. Yeah. Well. And then we we went to various places. We went to a place on the edge of uh, Wales, um, going to the library.